Yes, sir. We have come to the conclusion that our police shall never change unless we make them change. We therefore wish to make Kenyans know that we have put together a team of security and legal experts to examine the conduct and orders given by the police commanders to the officers on the streets that led to the brutality meted out yesterday. We shall institute legal action against individual officers who give such orders that led to the mayhem. In this regard, we decry the silence of the International Police Oversight Authority, sorry, Independent Police Oversight Authority, IPOA, and the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights on brutal Ruto's misuse of the police. We are going for individual responsibility and culpability against officers who acted against the Constitution. So far, we have a case to file individual charges against Mr. Adamson Bungay, the Nairobi police chief. We'll press these charges locally and internationally. We'll make Mr. Bungay and his enablers understand that the days when regimes could brutalize and butcher citizens with impunity are long gone. However, we commend those among the police who showed restraint in their actions and showed respect for the rights of their fellow Kenyans. We reiterate to our supporters and all patriotic Kenyans that this struggle is just starting. We are not looking back, and we will not be intimidated. No retreat, no surrender. Our issues remain as follows, fellow Kenyans. Number one, cost of living. We will not relent until this illegitimate regime understands that the people are hurting and that their suffering must be at the center of our priorities as a nation. We will push on until the cost of food, fuel, electricity come down. Two, electoral justice. We will continue fighting the attempt to constitute a compliant electoral commission. Brutal Ruto must stop reconstituting the IBC unilaterally and packing it with his puppets without the involvement of other stakeholders. At the same time, we demand that the four commissioners who were forced to resign because they differed with Mr. Chebukati on the results must be reinstated. We maintain that IEBC must open the servers and allow an independent international audit that will without doubt prove to Kenyans that Brutal Ruto did not win the last elections. Three, inclusive government. Brutal Ruto must stop the ethnicization and the commercialization of the public service. We'll fight for as long as it takes to save this country from being ruled by cartels, elites, and ethnic warlords. We are determined to lead the fight for the inclusive government opportunities based on merit. Four, sucking of civil servants. Ruto must stop the victimization 
and certain of civil servants whose only 